Some people have asked me how I shoot my photos. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the basics when it comes to my style, lighting, framing, and exporting basics. I'm going to use the Master Grade Spallo as my test subject. When it comes to setup, I prefer to have something that's easy to stage and break down. So I just use a simple paper backdrop that I tape to my wall. I keep it underneath my cutting mat so it stays flat. I also prefer to wear gloves when handling my models, helps keep my oily prints off the matte coating. First lighting angle is a pretty standard one for me, straight on from the right side. As you can see it lights the right side of the model pretty well and creates a bit of contrast on the left side. The second lighting angle is usually my go-to. It's a top right, about 45 degree angle. This lights the kit pretty well and adds a bit of contrast and depth that can be managed well in post. This next setup is a halo overhead style of lighting. I rarely shoot this style unless there's a specific reason that calls for it. I just think it creates more shadowy problem areas and doesn't really properly showcase the kit too well. The final shot is with the light straight from the left side. Lighting this way as opposed to from the right depends on what details you want to highlight. Perhaps there's a clear part you want more light to shine on or a metal component you want to bring more attention to. Now when it comes to background color choice, it's important to choose a color that will complement the kit well. You want the model to be the focus and draw the attention. This requires balance. I like the soft warm color because it feels inviting and leans towards the more neutral side. For the sake of comparing, I'm going to show you how different color backgrounds can impact the overall feel of the final shot. A while back when I was experimenting with this concept, I bought these colored papers. As you can see, having them rolled up can be cumbersome when it comes to staging, but I had these rolled up because I barely ever use them. The blue backdrop here clashes with the colors of the kit, and although it isn't terrible, it just doesn't have the feel that I'm going for. The yellow clashes even more. The paint scheme on the model is pretty vibrant, so having such a colorful background takes away the attention from the model and fights the viewer's attention. I also wanted to include the no background option. Sometimes I go for an environmental background style of shot. It can be something simple like having the model just sitting on your desk with a shallow depth of field to create a bit of an abstract artistic vibe. These are fun to play with because you can always create a moody look. So here's the side-by-side -side comparison with the different colored backgrounds. I think in this case it's a toss-up between the white and the warmer tan color. Usually the white background can make the model look a bit flat, but in this case, because the kit is blue and contrasts pretty well against the white, it complements the model better. Also depending on the camera settings and exposure of light, the white background can sometimes appear gray, which works in my benefit in this case. The colored backgrounds here just don't do it for me. Going back to when I'm initially shooting the images, I'm constantly aware of how I'm framing for post-production. I'm giving myself a bit of breathing room so that I can crop and export for different social channels. For Instagram, I know that I want to export at a 4x5 aspect ratio, but I'm also aware that if I want to leverage the image for a thumbnail like YouTube, I also want a horizontal shot for the same image. Again. Here I have a full horizontal shot with the capability of creating a normal insta post and a crop for my Instagram story. So that's it. That's pretty much how I shoot my photos. Uh, things can always change and there's always room to explore and try out new things. Um, there's a ton of different ways to get good photos, but this is just how I like to do things for now at least. As always, thanks for watching. What if I just, what if I just did the whole, did a whole ending clip or just did the whole video like this? Just, it's pretty rad actually. <laughs>
Shoot your photos this way. This is the way. <laughs> That's pretty dope.